Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. It's gonna be a fun vlog. It is Monday, so it's primarily gonna be Monday, Tuesday. And actually, my mom is on her way to Austin and I was like, I feel like my parents have been in all of my vlogs. So I looked back at my calendar. I haven't seen my mom in 10 days. Um, and this is why I moved here. So I'm so excited she's gonna be coming out to Austin and today we're gonna do lunch. We're gonna run some errands together, go furniture shopping because my dad's out of town. And then my dad on his drive back home to Bernie tomorrow is gonna stop by here to do a Home Depot run with me and hang some things like shelves and just get all the final like handyman work done with me. So that is gonna be this vlog and I'm so excited. I have a lot to catch you up on. But first, I have a very exciting mail time that I have been waiting to open with you for a while. So let's do that. I have been hanging on to this order for a long time and I am so incredibly excited, dream come true, because I'm partnering with Lululemon on this little segment of this vlog. I have some pieces from their holiday collection, also some gifts. It's just a small little haul, but I wanted to show everything to you. Everything I got for myself are things that I already own and love so much that I got in their new colors, which I'm so excited about. And then I did get a couple of gifts. So I will have these all linked down below. And if you want to shop these items, those links in my description box do help to support my channel. So it means so much. Um, I'm literally wearing Lululemon right now. Oh, my leggings are too. That's funny. <laughs> Not fully intended, I just took Max on a walk. So let's start with the things that I got for myself. Um, I also could have very easily gotten this for my sister or my mom for Christmas because they love Lululemon just as much as I do. But nevertheless, this is my third one of these because I live in them. If you watch my vlogs, you know, I talk about these all the time. I've bought two with my own money and they're the best things, especially if you're traveling, road trips, plane, anything like that. This is the perfectly oversized cropped crew and the material is called the soft stream material. And the best way I can explain it or describe it is kind of like suede meets athleisure wear because it has like a stretch and a bounce and the material is stunning because it really just falls and drapes nicely, but then it has the soft touch of suede and it's just a dream come true. I love it so much. I could live in this every single day. In fact, if you go back through my last month and a half of vlogs, I was living out of one suitcase and I had both of my perfectly oversized crop crews in that suitcase. So I've been wearing them probably every other day for the last month and a half. <laughs> Big fan. Next. Everybody knows and loves the Align Tank. Of course, I'm sure you've heard of it. It is made out of the same Nulu fabric as the Align leggings, but look at this print. Look at this fabric. I love this fabric so stinking much. I love wearing the Align Tank with the Align leggings because the length of the leggings and the tank kiss perfectly and then you just have this very tailored look. Um, and I have learned I'm a little bit bigger busted for the Align tank. And so I wear the cloud bra underneath it. And for me, it's the perfect amount of coverage and support to where I can still have the cute little crop tank, but then still do all of my activities and not feel like I'm overexposed or anything of the sort. And it's like the perfect pair. Also, this isn't even part of the video. I'm just talking about my new favorite bra now, but um, the cloud tank has these crisscrossed straps in the back. And then the Align tank has this scoop back. So together, it has these fun little crisscross scoop action and it's just stunning. And speaking of Align leggings, I got one in this stunning color. The color of this is green twill and most of my tops are either warm tone like this, which look at how well that pairs together, or black. And I feel like this green pairs really well with black within my little athletic slash athleisure wear wardrobe. <laughs> These are so flattering. The new Lou fabric has been described as barely there. So it kind of, you kind of forget you're wearing pants, which is the best feeling in the world. It's great for lounging and then low impact activities. So I've gotten really into yoga and Pilates over the last year, and these are just perfect for that. So <laughs> love them so much. So excited to have a new color to throw into the mix. And then as previously mentioned, I, ordered these items a long time ago with the idea of Christmas gifts. And so I actually do have two things for Brooke. I am still planning on sending them to him for Christmas because I am a woman of my word. And these are the things he really wanted. So I know boyfriends, husbands, brothers, dads, so hard to shop for. 
maybe it's just me, but they are so hard to shop for. So maybe this is helpful having him look through the site and pick out his two favorite things. If you have someone in your life that has a similar taste, this might be a little cheat sheet for you. These are the Pace Breaker shorts in the seven inch option. That seems to be like the sweet spot for end seams. Seven inches is not too long, not too short. And the material of this is so lightweight. It also has the four way stretch and it's advertised as sweat wicking. And then I love that this is kind of like a heathered charcoal black and gray mix on the fabric. I think it adds a little bit of dimension. It just makes it look really nice. And then ABC joggers. Have y'all heard of the ABC joggers? They're so flattering on guys. <laughs> so this is the ABC jogger in a gorgeous kind of olive color. Yet again, thinking he has a lot of black. So olive is a really good way to mix that in. It's still kind of a neutral. It's nothing too in your face and bold, but breaks up blacks and grays really, really well. Um, but these are just awesome because they have the more tapered ankle jogger fit. They have zipper pockets in the back. Uh, they're a perfect mix of being loosely fitted enough to where I feel like guys feel comfortable, but then also tailored enough to where it really kind of shows off their silhouette and looks really nice and polished and apparently are incredibly comfortable. So those were the two Christmas gifts I got. If you need a little gift guide inspiration for the men in your life, I can speak from experience from Brooke, from my sister's fiance, and from my dad, that as soon as they got their first pair of Lululemon pants, shorts, shirt, whatever, they then wanted more every single year. So <laughs> it's like introduce them and they'll fall in love. So those are the items I got. Thank you for joining me on this little haul. Thank you to Lululemon for partnering with me on this video. Yet again, I will have all of these items linked down below. If you're in the hunt for some last holiday gift ideas, I got you, or if you just want to treat yourself, I'm in that phase of life right now too, so I really got you. <laughs> and um, I have some things to catch you up on, so let's do that. I was just about to update y'all, but really quick. Look how cute Maxi boy is. Are you so cozy, Baba? You love that bed, don't you? <laughs> you love it so much. Look at the way he like hugs it. You going to bed? Okay, the update that I was gonna give. So what I've been doing is I don't want y'all to miss anything exciting, but I obviously haven't been vlogging every single day. The days I'm not vlogging, if something exciting is happening, I'll record it anyways. So I have some footage of, I think getting the Anthropology Primrose mirror, getting a desk slash entryway table, unboxing it and deciding where it should go. And then also I think finally unboxing the rest of the stuff for my closet, like my shoes and everything like that and getting it somewhat organized. I've ordered more stuff to organize it better, but I'm gonna go ahead and cue all of that so that you are fully caught up. Okay, this is gonna be interesting <clears throat> because I will need opinions. <laughs> I really would love an entry table for under this uh, mirror to put my lamp on, put keys on. Max is bringing me toys right now. That type of thing. I would also really love a very narrow desk. Hello, baby. 
in my bedroom against the window that I could sit at and work at a proper desk and also use as a vanity and just do makeup storage inside the drawers. So I bought this because of its size. It is the exact perfect size for a desk. Super duper tiny. I think it's like less than 14 inches wide, which is exactly what I need, but it was only really in black and I already have so much black furniture in there. I have the black bed, black sconces, and then the black primrose mirror inside the bedroom. And I don't wanna to do too much black. And here, the only black is the cabinets and the dining nook. So I think it would be more balanced color-wise in here, but it is the perfect size for the desk in the bedroom. So we're gonna build it and we're gonna try it in both locations. And then I'm holding off on buying the second until we decide where we like it best. So that's what the plan is. Let's get to building. That was surprisingly easy to build. Uh, it only took six screws. Not much that you can do wrong. It is a little rickety. But I'm wondering if I put little like furniture pads underneath, if that would help like level it out a little. The drawers are great since you didn't have to assemble them. They can't be rickety or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try setting it by the front door and try setting it in the bedroom and we're gonna see where we like it. I'm really bad at decisions like this. <laughs> okay, here's it at the front entry. I'm wondering if it's a little too big. This is why. It has to be centered under this mirror. But this mirror here is the little door stopper opener. So this is just barely gonna clear the door. I do like the way the coloring is in here. Please ignore my messy house, but there's not a lot of other black. And then this complements this all the way over here. So it's not too matchy matchy set, but what do you think? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Picture it styled with some books and a little place to set keys, maybe a plant, something like that. Okay. Option two, bedroom, let's go. So here we go with it in the bedroom. Obviously it's not styled the way that I would style it, but it would be really nice to have this to get ready in the morning. Um, but you see, that's black, that's black, that's black, that's black. Is that too much black? I'm so glad this is a wood tone. It's hard to match this wood tone, but it's the only one in here. And it does kind of complement the leather, but I can't decide from afar if it's just too much furniture in here, it would be really handy to have. I'm a little torn, so I don't know. It's growing on me. Okay, now that you're caught up. Um, so I went ahead and I was impatient and I posted on Instagram about where the desk should go and overwhelmingly everybody voted bedroom and I agree. Um, and I'll explain more why, but today with my mom, I really wanna to try to find an antique piece for the entryway. So we're gonna go check out an antique spot. Um, I think it's called Revival here in Austin. See what we can find. If I want it to be centered on this wall, it can't go any wider than the mirror. Hello, there's you. <laughs> because the door opens right here and it would look funny if it overhung on this side further. Obviously, if the door wasn't there, I would prefer a huge piece of furniture. So instead, a lot of people were like, you need a chunky piece of furniture. So I wanna find something that is maybe more of like a chest of drawers that goes all the way down to the ground. Something I'm thinking of is, I don't know if you have ever seen in antique malls or if you go to places like that, oftentimes you can find a chest that used to organize, I think a ton of little note cards I don't know if that was in offices, how they kept track of contact information, but something like that would be really, really cool. I think that that could be fun to look out for, but mom should be getting here soon and we will be going to lunch and coffee and running those types of errands and maybe Target. We just had lunch and coffee and we are at Revival Vintage, which I thought was like more of a vintage furniture store, but it looks kind of more of like a traditional thrift store. So we'll take you all along and see what we find. <laughs> We 
we are in a furniture store called Nadu, N-A-D-E-A-U, that one of my friends told me about. This is my second time coming here. There's like rooms upon rooms upon rooms of furniture. And honestly, so many good options of things that I just kind of like freeze. <laughs> I'm like, there's 12 things that could work, so I'm gonna buy none of them. <laughs> so yeah, oh, like look at these. Look at those. So cool. We're really liking this one. It's 330 and it's narrow, which is what we need, as I explained, but it's full bodied and it has like a little bit of a detail. I feel like this would be at Anthropology for $1,800. So this is a high contender. I like this wood. It's not too, it like won't conflict with the other wood tones since it's kind of whitewashed in a sense. So I'm leaving that on the list. <laughs> So clearly we did it. I really like the way it looks there. I was telling my mom that I know if I was styling this anywhere, if this was like twice as wide, it would look best. But considering the door and everything, I can't do anything any wider. So considering the logistics, I'm very happy. Can't wait to style it. And I'm thinking about making that like Max's area. So organizing all of his treats and you know, grooming supplies and whatever else. We have backup food, I don't know. And tonight I have therapy and tomorrow we have stuff to do, man. <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday. As you can see, I tried to have a productive morning. Max and I took a pretty long walk, picked up the house, took out all the cardboard that I have been avoiding to the recycling and then found packages, open packages. Uh, a lot of those packages <laughs> are leftover things from Jancy the label. The warehouse just now sent them all to me. And now I guess I'm gonna go around to the businesses in my area and see if anybody needs a thousand mailers or poly bags or things of the sort, cause I clearly don't need them and they're taking up a lot of space. I'm currently exhausted. <laughs> so tired. So I'm gonna take a shower and see if that revives me a little bit. Um, but I go home to Bernie tomorrow for Thanksgiving. So I might do laundry and pack and get a little more computer work done. I've been at my new desk and it's really nice to have this here. It's uh, the perfect size. I know it's tiny, but it's the perfect size for this room. So that's been super nice. So I want to try to style and fill this um, today before my dad gets here. And I want to repot this guy. I actually bought a pot, it's in my car, I'm gonna go get it, and I think that this guy would look really pretty on this, on one side, and then we can do like the lamp and maybe some stacked books and such on the other. So I'm gonna run to my car, get that, and we will repot. I'm literally in the direct sun. <laughs> Here's the pot I got. I love how modern it is, especially considering how the table is kind of antique-y, and I do wish it was more of a color now that I have the table because the table's whitewashed, but it's okay. I have my friend Becca's soil. This is her houseplant soil that she made with a company. So I'm gonna quickly get this bad boy in the pot. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, guys, the root structure on this was crazy. I took a little iPhone clip and I'll insert it here. But this thing was, I feel like so compact that this is a bigger pot but it probably could have used even bigger. We'll see how it does, but let's go style. I'm wondering about putting this next to the couch. It would get more sun over there, so it would be happier. And this is where I've put the plant for now. We had a Monstera on this table in the last house, so that kind of feels right. But the white on cream, iffy. It is later in the day, and as promised, we have dad. <laughs> What's our plans, Dad? We are going to go to Home Depot and get some supplies to uh, really make this place look really, really cooler than it even is out right now. Yeah. And uh, go out and get some Tex-Mex food. Yeah. yeah. We decided we're going to do one long shelf above the couch, but we want like 10 foot, which is too long to fit in my car. So we're going to do two five foot next to each other. Exactly. And pots for outside and pots and smart lights and smart lights and then also hang a towel rod or something oh like yes look how cute it is 
Let me show you. It's a little hand holding a flower. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold But don't you sweat Your pretty skin Cause it melts away For it sinks in And you dream about This very night When the moon runs down The summer sky Could it be the morning Of the spring When the sea runs dry Sweet handyman dad, <laughs> finish the shelves. And clearly, I'm not gonna decorate it in this vlog, but I do wanna see one thing. What my thrifted antique piece of art looks like up there. Oh yeah. What do we think? I like it. I like it too. Can you picture it with like a larger piece layered behind it? Yes. And then like, like for example, tried to use these earlier. Mm -hmm. They're gonna look so much better. Up like this. Yes. All my stuff. Very cool. I'm gonna end the vlog here where you can see all my accomplishments behind us with the repotted plant and the shelves and the world's cutest dad. <laughs> Thanks dad for coming out just to help me hang things. My pleasure. That's the best. Love it. And thank you guys for watching another vlog. And thank you, third thank you to Lululemon for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget I'll have the pieces that I have been wearing and talking about links down below if you want to shop those links do help to support my channel and i am leaving tomorrow to go back to bernie so next vlog is gonna be at your house cool can't wait i can't either all right i love you all have the best rest of your day bye so give me a sign give me a sign oh give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me one more Talking to you, talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all.